Welcome to my channel. My name is Nifon Tui. On this channel, I make some tutorials. I post new videos on Wednesdays and on Saturdays. So if you're into stuff like this, make sure to check back on those days in order to watch new content. Alright? If you are a beginner or if you're a person that's trying to brush up on your skills and offer online courses, I'll be showing a demo on how to make a jumpsuit so you can watch and decide if it would be convenient for you to learn online. If you're interested, send me a message on Telegram. Alright? The number is on the screen right now. Thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. If you like the video, please give it a like. Do not forget to subscribe. I will see you in the next video. Have a lovely day. Bye bye. All right, you're welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make the dress that you've seen on the thumbnail. To begin, you're going to need to know how to draft a bodice that has a princess that. This is the lace that we're going to use. Um, it's a nice looking lace that has sequins on it. Uh, you're going to need to know how to draft a bodice that has a princess that i have a video on how to draft a princess that's everything in one package the link is in the description below um this video is a long video so let me make sure i get you know shorten it the best i can um so i'm going to go ahead to draft the bodies now all right let's get it So you can see here I'm drafting the princess that this is the bust, under bust length, half cut bust, that's the waist measurements, shoulder, arm hole, alright. Then I'm creating the arm hole, um, the princess that's now, this is the cover, the under bust, that's the me paying back all my allowances, the last bit there is the actual allowance. I've drafted the whole thing out. Um, so this is the princess that. So like I said, this is my the space that replaces my um, that will give me allowance to stitch this cut back. The last bit there is the actual allowance. All right. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to have to cut out the pattern that we're going to use to create that mesh effect um the net effect on the on the bust for that i'm going to use this polka dots um polka dots mesh that looks really 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 nice uh well, bring your hand closer so that the camera focuses oh look at yeah see how this how nice this looks yeah so that's what the center bit is going to be cut out of so to be able to cut to cut a space for that we're going to measure to six inches and then we're going to come in by four inches here at the six inches and then here to here six here to here four and then i'm going to make a mark all right so i'm trying to make my my pattern as close to the image as that i have on the thumbnail but the i don't want the center piece to be as open as the one on the image all right so that the boss doesn't spill all over the place so I'm going to taper it a bit. It's not, it won't be as open as the one on the thumbnail, but you see what I would do here. If you can modify it however you want for yours, all right. So now we have the points that we need. Now that we have the point that we need, we're going to come from the armhole towards that point. Okay, from here, from here. Okay, where armhole starts from, we're going to draw a curve from there out to the points all right and then the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to come over to the boss side like this i'm going to mark half an inch all right i don't want it to be as open as the one in the image and then i'm going to use my curve to draw a line like so all right so after this we are almost it's almost time for us to cut out the pattern all right the last thing i'm going to do is we have to cut out the neckline out of the top part that we cut out of the net all right the one in the image the neckline is pretty high up i don't mind to be that high i'm using neckline width of four and i'm going to use a depth of three inches all right 
and then we're going to simply create my neckline all right that's pretty high up you can always drop it however much you want so that it doesn't make you uncomfortable when you put on the dress next thing i'm going to do is for i'm going to cut it out all right i'm going to cut out the center you notice the way i'm cutting i'm cutting here i'm following the green line i'm not following the red line because it's going to be cut out of the polka dot mesh so it's what i'm doing cut here i'm going to cut the top part like a regular body with that v at the bottom but as for this part i'm going to cut here like so all right cut the center um the top cent uh, side sorry like that all right and these are the patterns that i would need so this is the pattern that we need for the front the top part here is made of the mesh all right i'm not adding any allowance to it when i'm cutting it i'll cut it as it is because the mesh is quite stretchy on all sides so we don't need to modify the pattern that will be used to cut the nets I'm not adding anything when i'm cutting out all right cut here exactly the same please make sure not to add so that you don't end up having an excess on your bodice all right as for this pattern here all right because this is made of solid fabric it's not made of a net we're placing the, the lace on the solid fabric so up here i need half an inch at the top okay and in front of it i need half an inch you see this in front of here i'm going to add half an inch that's the part that will be joined to the mesh all right on this other side here i'm going to need half an inch but on this part here i need half an inch only at the top all right not any, not anywhere else you see me cut it out the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to cut the back when i'm cutting the back i'm not going to keep two inches for my zipper allowance i'm going to draft a regular bodice because we intend to make the back to work with um with um lacing instead of a zip so we don't need a zipper allowance it's just going to be the same bodice like what we drafted before we started to apply uh princess that and all of that all right that's what i'm doing now still the same thing boss on that boss length waist measurements all right basically the same thing i just did place my armhole not going to tamper with my neckline all right now that i've drafted my basic bodies next thing i'm going to do is I'm going to come over to the side you see this because i want the back to have a slope even though i'm not adding a zipper i don't want the, to risk having any puffiness as well as where the 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 bodies meets the skirt part of the dress so i'm going to cut it like i just did all right so the same neckline width you placed at the front placed at the back i use the neckline width of four i'm going to place four here now all right next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to place half an inch at the top for my um allowance at the shoulder the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to simply draw a straight roll a straight line from the top to the bottom so because i'm trying to do that i'll also place four inches down here so that i would once i connect the dots everything is going to be straight i'm adding my regular allowance of half an inch on the side and then i'm going to cut out all right okay and with that we have all our patterns so let's start um, transferring them to our fabric so like i told you this part here is going to be cut from our mesh, the polka dot mesh that I have for the center. All right, so I'm simply transferring all my patterns to the fabric now. All right, so let me cut it out. All right. And that's that with that. The next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to cut the center of the front and the side of the front onto my fabric i'm going to cut fabric and i'm going to cut my lace this is the fabric i'm using it has a look like mercury but it's not mercury but it has that that shine i'm going to use this to cut out my pattern now for what i'm doing i'm going to cut the um i'm, I'm using the fabric for both the fabric and the lining 
so I'm going to cut a total of four pieces per side all right so four pieces for the center of the front four pieces for the side of the front that's because i'm using my fabric as my lining but if you are using a lining simply just cut two pieces for the front and two pieces for the side you've seen that i've added my allowances everywhere i said i would i'm repeating the same thing for the center all right see that only at the top so you can see i have two pieces over here for the for the side of the of the front just like i said four pieces because of we intend to use the fabric as um, our lining as well i'm going to repeat the same thing for my back i'm cutting a total of four pieces two inches two parts sorry will be used for the fabric the other two parts will be used as um for the lining so that's what i'm doing now I'm cutting them out so this is my fabric the front i'm going to use these patterns now to cut the lace the lace I'm not going to cut a lining for the lace. Please don't make a mistake and cut your lace two times. You need just one. So once I cut this, that you see me cut, I'm not going to cut any other part, lace part for the center of the front. You see, that's what this is going to look. Now for the side of the front, I'm going to repeat the same thing. All right, I'm going to simply mark out all my points and cut it out. All right. The back, the same thing. I'm not going to cut too many. Um, I'm not going to cut a total of four pieces. Please don't make that mistake all right so this is how this will look next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to use sd and i'll iron it to all the sides of the fabric so not on the parts i intend to use as lining all right i'm going to iron it to the center of the front the side of the front the back on the front that's the on, on the center front and on the side of the front i'm going to add um, iron sd twice on the back only once please i hope that that is clear Alright, so when we're done with this, we're going to move over to the sewing machine to piece all these things together. Alright. So, now it's time for us to join everything together. So, center to the side is the first that we're going to do. So, this is the center of the front, you can see here. I'm going to pick up um, a side of the front that corresponds. Okay, that, that's, that matches. I'm going to look for the lace that's meant for it. And I'm going to place it on top, spin it around, and then what I'm going to simply do, see the way I'm joining it. If you see the princess that video, you would know what I'm doing here. It's simply just me joining center to side. I'm going to repeat this step on the other side of the front. You can see this here. I've joined both of them. The next thing is I'm going to repeat that step on my line. You can see here we didn't iron any stay onto this. So you see this, I'm going to simply stitch, I will stitch one side on camera and stitch the other side off camera, but basically doing the same thing two times, all right? I'm also going to top stitch my lining to make sure that I make sure that the excess is not moving around too much on the inside, all right? So after you have done that, you see what I have here? I have both sides of the part I intend to use um, as the lining, it's time for us to join this part over here to the fabric so i'm going to pick up one side of the fabric so you see that's how it's going to match you see how you see how it's supposed to be all right you see everything is looking good already this is how it's going to turn out um so i'm going to come over to that point he part you see that is sharp edge is where you will start from so you are going to keep it like so you see drop your finger on it Make sure that the edge of your fabric is just touching the edge of the mesh like mine is. Drop your needle down there and you're going to stitch them together. Alright, so you're going to go all the way down. See what I'm doing? And then, when I get there, I'm going to fold the other one to follow the edge. So, with that, you have joined, you have attached the net to the body. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the lining that is meant for this side. All right, look for the lining that corresponds. You're going to place front side facing front side. Make sure that your mesh is not in the way of your stitch. You can see what I'm doing. Align the two points together. Make sure that those points on the fabric lining and mesh are always on the same level. Um, yeah, so I'm going to start from the armhole. I'm going to run all the way. You're basically just sewing on your former stitch. That's the stitch you used to attach your mesh. Make sure that your mesh at every point in time is kept out of the way. So you always look underneath like you can see me doing. I will stitch, I will look under to make sure that my mesh is smooth. 
throughout this entire process all right if you do it like that by the time you turn it you should have what you can see here all right so with what we have done we have neatly attached the mesh onto the the um, lace all right you can see at that point there there's no squeezing there is no fabric behaving funny if i turn it to the wrong side you can see the inside is just as clean as the outside all right now whatever i've done now i'm going to repeat the same thing on the other side when i'm done with that we're going to move on to the next step so simply just treat this treat the left just like i showed you how to handle the right um with that you see that there's no squeezing once you join the shoulder to the front whatever excess you have up there will disappear but there's no squeeze as where you have the point okay when it's time for us to handle the back like i said the back is going to have it's going to be made of lace of it to be it will have a lace that you it'll be a lace back um uh dress so it won't have zips so i've cut this piece over here that is one and a half inches wide i'm going to simply uh fold it like so like this like this and i'm going to collapse it this piece is what i'm going to use to create the uh, lace at the back you're going to need a total of um four of eight pieces so you can make as many as you want depending on how many places you want to lace but four inches is going to be just enough at the back all right next thing i'm going to do i'm going to measure out 2.5 inches and i'm going to cut all right so cut as many as possible but i'm going to have only eight loops of on mine you can always increase it depending on whatever you want like i said before so you can see me here cutting them down making sure that they are all the same size you don't want to have one longer than the other you know you want everything to do to look symmetrical when it's time to join it to the back you are going to you see this you are going to have to um place your lace when you are placing your loops you're going to come to exactly where you have your armhole that's where you start from keep a space of 1.5 and place the next one all right from around where your armhole is that's where you will start placing them from all right so you're going to place your so we're going to um add the loops just as we are using our our um our fabric to our lining to lace the fabric so we start from up when we get to the armhole we plant the first one after 1.5 we plant the second after 1.5 third and after another 1.5 we plant the last one i'm top stitching to keep my um excess inside in one place then i'm going to stitch my armhole make sure to notch your armhole as well and if you turn everything inside out this is what you're going to have all right after you have You've done both sides because whatever you do to that side is what you repeat on the second side after we've done this the next thing is to plant the back into the to plant the front shoulder into the back sorry so you see this you see this this um mesh i have here i'm going to need to plant it into that shoulder so okay what i'm going to do is i'm going to flip this over to the wrong side pick out my shoulder i'll arrange it by use your armhole as a guide pass your hand through the back okay stick out two fingers when you do that you are going to pick up your mesh plant it in and then you're going to turn everything inside out make sure that the front of your polka dot is facing the front of your of your back all right so where so where you have your lace that is where the front of the polka dot that's the darkest part of the polka dot or basically the front of your net if you're using a net has a decoration like mine make sure that the front is facing the front of the of the back where you have the lace not the lining that's going to help you so that you don't twist it when you are working on it and then you simply stitch across like i have done and if you see that you have planted the shoulders neatly all right i'm going to repeat this step on the other side and then when i'm done with that we're going to join the sides all right so next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to join both sides that's the side here together so whatever allowance you kept make sure to hold the same thing i kept 1.5 so i'm going to hold 1.5 all right from here all the way down now um make sure not to make a mistake i don't know how you can make a mistake but what you simply do is you take the same side of the fabric that are joined together at the shoulder place it front side facing front side and hold whatever allowance you kept before from here all the way down so just simply stitch across um 
yeah when you're done with this you're going to have to repeat this step on the other side it's basically a mirror whatever you do here do the other side and make sure that when you are done with doing both of them make sure to iron your seams flat so you see the two sides of what you are sewing you're going to need to take it to to your ironing table and iron it flat all right and then uh let me do the other side i'll be back just the same thing we're doing so if you look under here see everything is laying smooth on both the left and the right and by the time you've come this far you are basically done with the top part of the dress all right so as for the sketch parts that's going to be the next video you're going to see on saturday um on saturday i'll show you how to neatly join this the sketch part is a combination of a evening dress like lace but the inner parts that's the mercury like fabric i use here will, will be a short just like what you can see on the thumbnail so i think you should really anticipate that you i'll drop it on saturday morning if you watch this far i'm going to see you in the next video thank you for watching this far do have a lovely day i hope that this helps you out i'll see you in the next video bye bye